Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got three dribbling drills for you guys that you can use to structure a training session around. It's not too difficult to do. All you need is a ball, some cones, and a net. The net is not necessary. You can do the session without the net, but you can incorporate shots into the session as well. Also, if you don't have cones, you don't 100% need those either. You can use some sandals or some socks or a water bottle or some other types of shoes that you have as markers. So basically all you need is a ball and you're good to go for these drills. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this training session. All right guys, so for this first drill, you're gonna put two cones down about two feet apart and then you're gonna step five feet out and put two more cones down and build four gates in total. Then you're gonna put one cone down at the end and one cone down at the beginning. Then you're gonna take a ball and you're gonna start at the first cone and start weaving through the gates. Remember to try to take a touch with every single step you take and try to go as fast as you possibly can. Don't try to go slow because we're trying to build speed and close control. So even if you mess up, try to go fast, keep that ball close and just keep it consistent. A lot of channels on YouTube and a lot of coaches will tell you to put cones one or two steps apart and just weave through them and do a bunch of different variations, which is good for close control. And I do agree with it and I do do it sometimes. But I think that for game realistic situations, you're going to be run, you're going to be wanting to run a longer distance and you're going to be wanting to weave through these cones as if you were weaving through defenders. There are tons of professional footballers that are known for being great ball carriers. They're able to take the ball and run with it and create space and create opportunities for their team. For this drill, I did three times on the right foot, three times on the left foot, and then three times with both feet. You can obviously do it more times, but just keep on practicing it until you get it down at a good speed so you can bring it into a game. For drill number two, you're going to put a cone down, then you're going to walk five steps out at about a 45 degree angle and put another cone down. Then you're going to walk four steps out the other way and put a cone down, then three steps, then two steps, then one step, and then step out about three steps and build a gate. You're going to start at the first cone and start weaving through the cones until you get to the gate and you beat the gate and have a shot if you have a net. If you don't have a net, you can just beat the gate, turn around and come back to the beginning. Again, for this one, I did three on the right foot, three on the left foot, and then three with both feet. The great thing about this drill is that it works on your close control, it works on your cutting, and it also keeps your mind active because the cones keep getting smaller and you need to keep adapting and reacting to them. For the third and final drill, you're going to put a cone down, walk five steps away from it, turn right about 90 degrees, build a gate, then go to the other side and build another gate, then walk five steps out from that and build a straight row of cones with one cone about two yards in front of the middle cone. The setup may sound a little bit complicated, but the drill itself is actually very simple. As you can see, it's just a series of cuts. You run through that first gate, you cut through it, you go to that next cone, you cut through it again before you have a shot on goal. Again, if you don't have a net, you can just go through it, then come back to the beginning and restart. As you can probably already tell, this drill is set up for your right foot and for your left foot. So you go through on your right foot here, then you come back, go to the other side and go through on your left foot. This drill incorporates all aspects of dribbling, your close control, your cutting and your running with the ball. 
I went through five times with my right foot and five times with my left foot. Alright guys, so those were my three essential dribbling drills. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below which one you liked, which one you didn't like. I definitely wasn't at it today. I know that I can do those drills better than that. I know that you guys can probably do those drills better than that. So if you do, comment down below, let me know how it went, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!